Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 18. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to find a routine name from a package name. The most uh, uh, widely used routine types are UDF and uh, stored procedures in an application. So what happens when you create a stored procedure or UDF, like when you create a routine, it is basically compiled into a package. So once the package is generated, uh, that package will have uh, a unique number okay so uh, the details about the package or the details about the routines can be got from the uh, admin views syscat.routines and syscat.packages but the the uh, stored procedure details alone is available in the routines uh, admin view and the package details alone is available in the packages admin view the link between these two like for this particular stored procedure this is the package name so that link is not directly available in these two tables so what we can do is for that we can uh, look at the syscat.routine depth this is the administration view this is the routine dependency table like that so this will have provide you that particular link uh, there are uh, further detailed uh, information about uh, the packages uh, and uh, in the developer works uh, technical article in the IBM website let's quickly get into uh, the examples okay I'm just connecting to database test uh, as user db2 inst1 and uh, instance owner okay so first I'm querying the syscat.routines table under routine schema db2 inst1 So currently no routines are available and also I am uh, querying this syscat.packages table so no packages are available I am not selecting all the columns so uh, for routines I am selecting routine schema routine name specific name for packages table I am uh, selecting package schema package name and package id so currently nothing is available so I'm here I am uh, creating a stored procedure I will show you the sample code it's a very basic simple stored procedure so create or replace procedure myproc is the procedure name it just updates the table table a setting the name as hhh where id equal to 5000 and it does the same thing for table b it's a very fairly simple uh, stored procedure so let's create this uh, stored procedure so what happens when you create this stored procedure is it compiles and it generates a package for you okay this is done so let us execute the same uh, queries again uh, so syscat.routine so you find here that uh, our routine name myproc is shown here and for the specific name it has generated a particular uh, number here sql one three one two zero seven one six two three four two eight hundred okay this is the specific name of the stored procedure then i am querying the syscat dot packages table so it has generated a package also so uh, under this schema see right now we have only one uh, record here so it's not an issue but the mapping is not available okay so to get the mapping we have to query the syscat dot routine depth table okay so syscat dot routine depth so I am just querying that so here you will find the it is the routine dependency table so for this specific name right see the same specific name is available here also and also here also okay. so for this specific name what are all the dependencies so that is uh, got by the B name so in the B name you will find this uh, P61192 1519 which is nothing but the package name so this routine is dependent on a package object this routine is dependent on table A and table B so table A and table B are part of our uh, SQL uh, code so we are accessing the table A updating the table A and updating the table B so it is uh, showing it as the dependencies here and the package name is also shown as dependency okay 
so that you can know so if you can always work your way backwards so once you know the package name so you can query the routine dependency table for b name and figure out what is the specific name for it and from the specific name you can query the routine table and figure out what is the routine uh, name for it like in our case my prop so uh, so this is the relation like this is how we can map for what stored procedure or udf what is the package name so that can be easily mapped uh, thank you all that's it in this video tutorial uh, please subscribe to my channel db2luw academy thanks for watching see you in next tutorial bye bye